Welcome, today we're gonna to be talking about my three favorite books ever. Now, just so you know, I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. If you wanna watch them, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another episode. I talk about lessons of how to master your mind because if you can master your mind, you can master the external world. Now, with these three books that just recently changed, just so you know, I will go over real quickly my three favorite books and I will also link them down below if you wanna go ahead and buy them. I'll put the links to them so you can get the best version of them at the best possible price. So I'm gonna go through them and I'm gonna tell you just a couple of things of what I learned from each one, but I would recommend that you buy and read each one of these. These three books, I can honestly say the three of these books completely changed my life. The first one, which has been my favorite book since I read it, is a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This book right here, if you'll be able to look through all of these, I'm flipping through it right now, if you'll be able to look and see all of the underlines, this is when I really got into books and really started reading a lot and underlining them and making notes. And what I realized, the, really the thing that this made me learn, just so you know, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill followed around the most successful people in the world in the early 1900s and started to figure out, man, is there any, started to kind of ask himself, is there any steps to success? If I, if I go to 100 people that are very successful, can I find out if there's certain things that they all do? And the thing that it made me realize is that success is not just something that happens by chance. Success is something that can be done by anybody. You don't have to be born in a certain part of the world. You don't have to be a certain sex or a certain skin color or anything like that. As long as you follow the steps to being successful, you can be successful. And this book, The Think and Grow Rich, I believe, is the best book to teach you how to be successful. And it, it sounds corny, think and grow rich. It sounds like a fluke. But I promise you this book right here, I have given out more copies of this book. I actually ordered at one point in time 100 copies of this book because I got a good deal at it so I could just give them out to people that have never read it when they say they have it. This book, Think and Grow Rich, is the absolute best book that you can read right now if you've never read it before. So that's number one. The second one is a book called The One Thing, which is by Gary Keller and Jay Papazan. The reason why I think this book is so good, and I can attest now a couple years down the road how good it is, is because I read it at a perfect time in my life when I was running two different businesses at one time. And both businesses were doing pretty well, but they weren't what you would call like really good, like ultimate success, like financial success. I was running a, a, an Amazon business and I was also running my coaching business that I run now and they were both doing really well and I had been doing them for a while but I read this book and the one thing, the premise of the whole book is basically that you cannot catch two rabbits if you chase after both of them, right? It's an old Chinese proverb. If you try to catch two rabbits at once, you'll catch neither one of them. And what I realized was I was trying to catch two rabbits at one time. I was trying to be successful at Amazon and I was also trying to be successful in my coaching business. And so what happened was I read this book and I realized, okay, I'm doing well in Amazon. I'm making good money off of Amazon, but it's not my passion. It's not what I wanna be doing in 10 or 15 years from now. And at that point in time, it was making more money than my coaching business was. But I called in my business partner and I was like, I can't do it anymore. I need to leave the business because this is not my passion. This is not what I'm gonna be doing until the day that I die. I knew that coaching with teaching people with doing what I do now was what I would be doing until the day that I die. I got lucky in that sense that I already knew or had an idea of what my one thing was. And the whole premise, like I said, is to find out what your one thing is and focus on just that. Put all of your effort into that one thing. And the example I always love to give is, is an example like LeBron James, right? LeBron James didn't become LeBron James because he played basketball in high school and also played volleyball just in case basketball didn't work out, right? He didn't do that. He focused on just basketball and became obsessed with it. All of the greatest people in this entire world, whatever it is, they focus on one thing and one thing only until they got it to be successful and then they went on to the next thing, if they even went on to the next thing. And so the one thing really changed my life. I was making good money before, but then when I th you know, completely left the Amazon business, got out of that and really went hard at what I'm doing now and in the business of what I'm actually really passionate about, 
my life completely changed and my business exploded and it turned into making more money than I ever thought possible and being more fulfilled than I ever thought possible as well. So that is why The One Thing is my second favorite book. And the third one, which is actually the very first book that I ever bought on Kindle, is called The Power of Now. And this is a book by Eckhart Tolle. I just read it a year ago. And so this didn't used to be in my top three for favorite books, uh, but it is now. And uh, The Power of Now, the reason why, it came at a perfect time as well for me. The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, is, in my personal opinion, the best book that you can read about being present, right? Because so often, and this is something I've really been focusing on for the past year and a half or so, is just to be present. Because so often, we have so much that's going on in our lives all of the time that we're not even present in our lives. We're not present with the people that we're with. We're always thinking about something in the future, or we're stuck thinking too much in the past. And it's like Alan Watts says, if we're constantly thinking about the future, we'll never be present. And if we're constantly working towards a future and always looking in that future, well, when that future becomes our present, we'll already be thinking about the next future. And so it's worthless to constantly be thinking about the future when eventually you get to that future and you're not thinking about it, you're not present when you're actually there. And so the power of now really just gets the point across and this is the, probably the most underlined book that I've ever had is The Power of Now. Really gets the point across of how to be present, how to just exist more, how to just be more. And when I say the phrase be more, people think, oh, I be more, like I'll become more. No, I just mean you be more. You just exist more as a human, right? You just exist. You be okay with just existing. You don't have to be constantly going and doing things all of the time. What I came to realize from reading this book was that I was addicted to working. I was constantly, constantly, constantly always working towards something because I felt like I constantly had to achieve in order to, I guess, feel more worth. And what I realized is that instead of just constantly working, why don't I take a step back and actually enjoy the fruits of my labor, right? Because there's a lot of people that they become millionaires, they become billionaires, but they're constantly pushing themselves forever that they never actually enjoy the fruits of their labor. I've, I have been pushing myself for 11 years and really working towards success and getting lots of success, but I got what you would say would be quote unquote success, but never enjoyed it because I never actually let myself be present. So the past year after reading this book, I've just, I've just been okay with just existing more, as crazy as that sounds. Like just being okay with just being alive and just occupying space, which for me was two years ago, I would have been like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Because I was always, always, always having to work and focus on going. I didn't feel like I deserved a day off because I wasn't where I wanted to be. That was literally the way that I operated a couple years ago. And then reading these books and going through some personal development and going through some journeys, I've realized that you know, the point of life is not to just constantly be moving towards the next thing. Because if you're constantly moving towards the next thing, you never fully enjoy the moment that you're in. And so the power of now is a perfect one for that. So once again, it is Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich is number one. The One Thing by Jay Papazan and Gary Keller is number two. And the third one, which, hey, you never know, might move up into one or two pretty soon. It's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. If you want my top 10 favorite books, because obviously I just have enough time to do my top three, you can go to mwfmotivation.com slash booklist. Once again, mwfmotivation.com slash booklist. You can download my top 10 books that I recommend and why I recommend them there. So if you like this episode, once again, I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday for Mastering Your Mind, because if you can master your mind, you can master the external world. If you want to subscribe, hit that button that's right there. Make sure that you subscribe. And also, any comments, put your comments down below. I love to talk with you guys. I read all of the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.